Hey beautiful people, what is up and welcome back to my little corner of the interwebs and welcome to another new makeup releases video. Yes, this one is coming like right off the heels of one that I did the other day, like two days ago, depending on when this goes up. <laughs> but in full transparency, that video had been filmed for about a week before I got a chance to like edit and upload it, which is why there's a little bit of a, a, a gap and I didn't get to talk about any, any of the new stuff. And I'm really trying to stick to Makeup Mondays, y'all. I am trying my best. <laughs> I am doing what I can. Anyways, before we dive in, if this is your first time watching me, hi, welcome. I'm Jamila, and I love all things makeup and beauty, but I don't makeup and skincare, but I don't believe in paying full price for makeup. So here in my little corner of the interwebs, I like to focus on how to get a lot of luxury and indie products at the best prices. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you see all of the contents that will be coming. Anyways, uh, that's, that's it for the intro, hella short, so I'm gonna scooch over to the side and we're gonna dive into makeup on your radar's Instagram page. And let's talk about these new releases, cause y'all, 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 these brands, I feel like every brand is a Colourpop right now. And Colourpop ain't even Colourpop in the way Colourpop used to. So, what's going on? Anyways, let's get into it now. Okay, so starting from the top, Bobby Brown has a collab with the Powerpuff Girls. Um, I don't understand. Ooh, I think I was a frame. I don't understand why Bobby Brown is collabing with the Powerpuff Girls because, and hear me out, um, it feels a little elementary. Now, Bobby Brown is a old school makeup luxury brand. It always felt kind of like right below the Chanel's and whatnot. It just felt really luxurious and sophisticated. And Powerpuff Girls feels kind of ki kiddy, in my opinion. Granted, I know Powerpuff Girls is my generation and we're not as young and spry as we used to be, but this still feels very elementary. Anyway, looking at the collection, it seems like there's a nice shadow quad, basic neutral quad with like bronze and a pink and a highlight, a powder, I, well I guess that makes sense, but I don't know if it's a translucent powder, it's a white powder, and then a couple of singles and some lipsticks. These lipsticks are pretty universal shades, which is nice. Um, a cleansing oil and then the face base cream, which is like their claim to fame for, uh, in this sort of special packaging. I don't want this. I don't want this at all. This just, I don't like the packaging. It doesn't feel luxurious. It's kind of given makeup revolution, but like, I mean, okay. <laughs> why? Just why? And why Bobby Brown? You see, this is what, I, I don't know what it is about Estee Lauder taking over certain brands, but I feel like when they do, it's just all downhill from there, man. Like, I don't know, but yeah. That's, that's that. Moving along. What's up, beauty? Y'all, they are releasing the Dragon Eye Eyeshadow Palette. It is stunning. I have never purchased from What's Up, Beauty before in my life. I know Cara from Beauty and the Fridge, she has a ton of their products. They've sent her a lot of things in PR, including their eyeshadow brushes, which, surprise, surprise, are natural hair brushes. I don't know why I thought they weren't, but they are natural hair brushes. Um... And she seems to love the products. Now this Dragon Eye uh, palette has both multi-chromes and dual chromes. It says that it's talc-free, clean, cruelty-free, and sustainable. I'm trying to see the inside of this. It, like I think there are some mattes in here as well, but um, it's gonna be $45, which is not bad at all. Like $45 is a solid price point. And these shadows, or the What's Up Beauty brand is actually a brand where the shadows are made in Italy. Which, not to say that's like the best of the best, well, it might actually be the best of the best in terms of quality, but I'm assuming that this is going to be a very unique formula and not some of the private labeled rinse repeat formulas that we see. So I'm intrigued. I'll keep looking out for more that they put out. But $45 is not bad. I just need to figure out how much shades it is. Oh, well, I guess seven shimmers. I think there are some mattes. There has to be some mattes in here. So, seven shimmers. Hopefully, so there are some mattes in there. I guess it hasn't been fully revealed yet. So, when we see the full palette, I'll keep y'all posted. So, Ensley Rain has finally revealed the Lands of Enchantment palette, which 
is a pastel palette. Did I miss something? Why are brands bringing out pastel palettes in November? Why, why do you think I want to be ashy in November? It's already cold. I already have to lotion a little extra. Why do you think I want to look like ash? I don't understand these pastel releases in November. I, I'm missing something. If it is a, you know, non-US based brand and you're on the other side of the world where it actually is summertime, sure. But I believe this is a US based brand so I don't understand why they release it in pastels. And I'm not gonna lie, the swatches don't help. <laughs> And I mean, don't help in terms of they look hella ashy. They just, and these swatches are on a light arm. And if they're looking like ash on whoever this person's arm is, what are they going to look like on me? No, ma'am. We not here to be casket ready today. Okay, so Jouer has some new holiday sets. Quite frankly, I thought they went out of business. I'm not going to lie. I feel like they removed all of their products from inside Sephora or the Sephora website. So I just assumed that they were gone but no they still got products going on so it looks like there's a must-have set which has a pressed powder a blush stick and a lip enhancer and that's gonna be $68 and then they have a bond fat collection which is a tinted which is just three tinted lip oils for $34 okay I mean that not none of that's exciting are, are you guys still checking for Jouer? Let me know, because I'm curious. Okay, this is pretty, but also we have this at 10 times over. So Wicked Widow Beauty, they are, or is it available now? No, so there, it's going to be available on the 15th. It's the Resurrection palette. Resurrecting who and what? You see, these types of things give me a little bit of an ick. You know, like... I'm not here playing with my lord and savior like that, but this is essentially a rainbow palette It's a mix of mattes and shimmers. It's a pretty large rainbow palette at that um, I don't think I like the way it's organized I like the way it's swatched because it seems a little bit more cohesive But large rainbow palettes like this I need it to be in the blend bunny format because my brain just it can't it can't with the chaos anymore um, The price of this is gonna be $78 Why? I just I can't. $78. If you use an affiliate code, radar 10 is gonna be $70. Apparently there's supposed to be 12 special shades for $3 a piece, 10 multi-chromes, and two dual chromes with 12 mattes. No, no, we're not doing this no more. We not we not gonna sit here and justify these crazy expensive prices. $78? Have you lost your mind? And I'm looking at these swatches and quite frankly, had I not really, really stared at it, I would not have noticed that these were multi-chromes and duochromes. And I'm just, I'm just moving along because it's just going to make me mad. <laughs> like, granted, it is a bigger palette, but at the end of the day, like, I'm so sick of brands and I'm saying this, like, holistically because I am, like, I've had it up to here with brands releasing these palettes that are... 78 88 dollars like who are you like come on no we're not doing we're not doing it we're not we're not we're not we're not we're not i can't i can't i cannot okay so unearthly cosmetics they have their ho <coughs> holiday 23 palette it's a pre-order i think all of their collections are pre-orders which i'm just not doing it anymore i will say that when i had Unearthly palettes. That's what back when it was Alien Cosmetics palettes. I hated the formula. I was not here for it. I sold all of my Unearthly slash Alien palettes and I was just like, I'm okay. Now, I do believe that they have since, I don't know if it's either reformulated or improved their formula, but I am intrigued. I am curious. Am I going to pick anything up? Probably not, but, um, and mainly because one, their price is outrageous, and two, everything that they have is a pre order, and I'm not doing that anymore either. I feel like at this point, they should be able to service people without it being a pre-order. But that's just my feelings. I am not a business owner. I can't speak to anything other than that's just how I feel, which may not be enough. Um, this is pretty, I guess. Uh, it's a neutral 
palette with a, so it's a cool, it's not a neutral palette, so it's a pink palette that leans cool toned. You can get some neutral looks out of it, but more like cool tone leaning neutrals. But essentially it's a pinky palette and I don't, I sure as hell don't need any more pink palettes in my collection. It also looks like there are going to be some lipsticks that are a part of this collection as well and a highlighter trio. I have a ton of those highlighter trios that are kind of like the dual chromey ones. So the palette by itself is going to be $60 and the full collection, so the palette, the lipsticks, the highlighter is going to be $130. I guess technically that's not bad considering what is it you the trio highlighter that's like three highlighters and four lipsticks one palette okay and I'm sure you can use an affiliate code to save you 10% um, off so it says that this is estimated to ship in mid early to mid December okay anyways moving along cosmic brushes now this is a brand that I can appreciate and support not gone are the days of me supporting these brands with these outrageous prices because cosmic brushes is giving us affordability right which is exactly what we need now i do believe that this is going to retail for like 28 pounds which is going to be a little bit higher for us um us based uh folks but this is pretty it's pretty but kind of a bit monochromatic and large to be this monochromatic. Granted, it's like two distinct color stories. You got a little bit of purple and you got a little bit of blue. I see that there's two multi-chromes in this one. At least two solid multi-chromes from what I can tell. It's it's nice. I'm not going to lie. I saw this and I was like, I might want that. <laughs> I actually might want that. Um, I'm trying to make sure and confirm the price, but I haven't... Yeah, 28 pounds, which might make that closer to $30 USD, but I'll have to let you all know the official conversion. But this is actually really pretty, and in my opinion, feels very Christmas. It definitely gives that sort of snow aesthetic. Um, so this feels like a holiday release, not all of them pastels. Now, I will admit that the swatches that they use on their arm, the arm swatches that they present are overly saturated. Every single time they do that, I get a little bit frustrated because it paints a way more saturated picture than it actually is. Like, could we just take real photos, you know, with sun? And even if you are using artificial lighting, let's not overly saturate the picture to try to, like, sway people. That just feels like false advertising to me. Either way, I do want this. I can actually afford this. <laughs> it's less than $30. I mean, come on. And if they could give us an eyeshadow palette that I believe this is, what, for... 20 shades, yeah, 20 shades, two of which are multi-chromes for less than $30. I don't want to hear anything from nobody else. I don't want to hear it. I really, really don't because now y'all are lying. Is the construction of the cosmetics brushes palettes the most luxurious? No. Honestly, 99.9% .9 of it is cardboard and then you get a mirror in there. So it's not exactly the most luxurious packaging. Like I have the Cosmic, um, the Delicious Delights one here. So all of this, cardboard, and then you have a mirror here. Uh, but I don't mind that. It's light, it's fine, it performs well. So I don't know where, where, where the price is coming from with these other brands. But that's neither here nor there. Lost Library. So Fantasy Cosmetica is going to be releasing their Lost Library collection. As of this video, I don't think they've actually done the full reveal. They've done a bit of a sneak peek, but there will be a video either immediately before or after this one with me just showing you guys the entire collection. Y'all know how I feel about Fantasy Cosmetica. They are killing it um, and doing such new and innovative things that are still on the affordable end. Thank you, Jesus. So look, be on the lookout for that video. Sorry, and if it's already up, I will make sure to link it down below. Okay, so Adept Cosmetics has taken the chaos out of their little five pan palettes that we did not like and puts it into a big one. I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about this. Now this I believe is gonna be the Element palette. I don't like the front packaging, that alien imagery is very ugly to me. Uh, it really, it, I don't like it, which is weird because I typically like Adept packaging. They have the faux leather outer packaging, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette similar to Samarian Sunset and the Inspired palette the bottom row of five shades is gonna be five mattes from the images 
and the swatches that they provide, which thank you, Adapt, for your swatches. They do such a good job with that. Um, the mattes all look to have a little bit more punch to it than the Samarian Sunset. So they don't look ashy. They look like they have a little bit more depth. I would say that they're either mid-toned or they're, they're all pretty mid-toned with one true deep shade, and that's like a deep blue. The swatches, those swatches, this is so pretty. And I like that it feels like it. it's, it's a little versatile, right? You have some blues, you have some pinks, you have some teals, you have purple, and you have like one orange shade. Um, the question is those those two shades that have like the rows of shimmers in there, like are you supposed to swirl them around? Is that the intent? Is that something that you're supposed to do? I am not sure. Um, let's see what the price of this is going to be. So it's going to be $65. Okay. $65. It will be available for, is it pre-order? Yes, it'll be available on Black Friday for pre-order. Why? Why is it a pre-order? With the estimated ship date the week of December 11th. Um, and they say Black Friday sale codes will work on both of the pre-orders. So I don't think that this is a limited edition. So that's going to be great. I'm wondering if Black Friday will be like a 25% off, which is good. So I'm going to get this. <laughs> I'm going to get this. Because $65 is actually, I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best, but it is better than what we've seen from other brands. So I could do $65. Samarian so Sunset was $79. This is going to be $65. If they do 20% off, that actually brings it down to like the 50 something dollar range, which I'm okay with that. I'm a okay with that. So. I will, that it, I will, that's on my list to get. It does still feel like chaos to me and I don't like those little swirly mix up palettes. I don't, but I do want this one. So, very, very pretty. So I don't think we touched on this because it was just being sneaked peeked, but the Be Bella Butte Bar has the Bejeweled Collection. This is pretty. Uh, it's very deep, very rich, very jewel, um, very jewel toned, like they said. There are a couple of very distinct rows, like a green, blue, purple, and a orangey red. Um, oh yeah, it is arranged by rows, which is kind of nice. I love a good organization. This is pretty. That bottom row is giving all a fall. I'm intrigued by this. How much is this? Hold on, we need to find, figure out the price. Because I'm intrigued. Well, they haven't given a price yet, which when I have it, at, if, if, it pop, if I get it before I edit this video, I'll pop it up um, somewhere. But there's no price listed for it, but it's kind of pretty. Uh, do I need it? No. And quite frankly, because of all of these releases, I'm making some very, very, very tough decisions when it comes to my purchases because I just honestly can't afford it. And I would say that this is probably in the 60 something dollar or more range. Hell, probably even $80. Bella Butte Bar palettes have been some of the most expensive I've seen on the market. And I don't know if it's justifiable. I do have one. I have one palette from them. I, do, I, I can't justify their price point. <laughs> and one palette does not a formulation or a brand decision make, but from that one palette, I can say I can't justify the price point. So hopefully we'll see how that goes. Uh, one thing I do think I remember them saying is that for Black Friday, they are not going to be doing any sales. And that is because they have several pre-orders going on. Most folks have not received their order and it's unfair for people who purchase on Black Friday to get a discount because they still haven't shipped out the orders of the people who bought in the pre-orders. I'm gonna let it go, but I do think that that's a bit messed up, but it is what it is. Um, let's keep moving. Okay, Odin's Eye. Um, so Odin's Eye surprised me with this one because they are bringing back the Christmas palettes from last year. They had a Merry Christmas and a Christmas Eve palette, which literally rocked the internet. It was absolutely beautiful. I do have both of them. And... Um, it was limited edition and it sold out completely. And Odin's Eye is very much known to be that brand that when they sell things out, it, it's never coming back. It's gone, gone. Um, so I was really surprised to see that they brought it back. Now, I do think one of the reasons why they were able to bring it back is because this is actually their own palette. Uh, their legendary Diversa collections were collabs with creators and 
I'm just gonna assume that when you do that, there's a lot of sort of legal contracting things that need to go into restocking a palette because it's not yours. It's, you know, the creator's vision or whatever. So I get that piece. So, but this one being their own product, I see how they were able to bring it back. I think that the old palettes are beautiful and if you can get your hands on them, it's worth it. These new ones though, ash, just straight up ash. Again, going back to why are brands giving us pastels in the middle of December and November? Like, I don't understand it. And these don't even look like good pastels. They literally look ashy, just like white. White powder with a little sprinkle of color, a little bit of sprinkle of pigment in there. Both palettes have one deep shade, which, you know, uh, of my complexion, that's not going to work. And, you know, if it's not a deep black, which you could actually use to probably create a gradient in depth, it's 0% helpful. So, <sighs> I thought I was going to get this. I remember seeing it and I was like, I don't care what it is, I'm going to buy it. But honestly, I don't want this. I don't. It took me like a minute to sit with my thoughts and my feelings on it. But I don't want this. This is, this is not going to work for me and quite frankly does not make me feel like Christmas. The two from last year though, they do. But let me know what you guys think about it because I was just kind of disappointed by this release. Um, it does make me feel good though that because I don't like this, I could actually really reduce my Odin's Eye order. Um, what I want to purchase is their gemstone collection that they released several months ago and probably the Halloween palettes with Angie, which already that's four palettes. So if I brought this into the mix it would have been six palettes which is just too much palettes for me um so I'm glad that I can be like you know what I just actually don't want that so that's how I feel about uh that release it was just it was just weird it's just so weird <laughs> um okay let's keep moving D I don't know why I keep wanting to say DD signature it's DD's signature I'm struggling so hard with this brand um they have a holiday palette Okay, it is reds and greens. It's gonna be thirty-two dollars. Um, I don't know. That's just a, this, I mean, it's it's a Christmas palette with like stereotypical Christmas colors, red and green. Nothing exactly special in it, um, in my opinion. But if you were on the market for a Christmas palette, this might this might be nice. Um, it does look pretty now. I'm looking at this little video thing. I mean, there are a couple of duochromes in there. So, you know, the greens run the gamut from, like, kind of mossy greens to almost teal-like shades. Okay. It's pretty. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, I actually think that's really, really cute. And $32 is a solid price. And I'm sure that there are some affiliate codes that you can use to save some coinage. But, yeah. So, Rosie McMichael is collabing with Beauty Creations. I don't know who that is and what brand that is. But this caught my eye because it's one, it's a pretty large eyeshadow palette with, uh, I'm going to call it jewel tones, but honestly, it's like blue purples and some pinks with a little neutral section. This is actually a huge eyeshadow palette. Wow. What's that? Six, five, 30 shades. So 30 shades. Um, some, and I'm struggling with this because this entire collection feels like a compilation of different brands. Mm. Like the large palette is giving me Glam Light Michaela vibes. The blush trio, and I guess that's a highlighter or bronzer trio, is giving me one size beauty vibes. These liquid eyeshadows, I'm assuming multi-chrome eyeshadows, are giving me Danessa Myricks vibes. So everything kind of feels like it was stolen from another brand. I'm not making any accusations, but it's reminding me of packaging that other brands use. And it just, it just feels weird. Um, the palette is $30. Oh, that's not bad though. $30 for 30 shades. It's a dollar a shade. The blush trio is $18. The highlighter trio is going to be $18. The, oh, the multi-chromes, you can get all three liquid multi-chrome eyeshadows for $25. And I don't know what the not so classic kit is. I don't know what is that. <laughs> um, and if you want to buy the bundle and you get a mirror, an LED mirror included, it's $115. Uh, 
is this a drugstore brand? Do, do you guys know what this is? Like, whose brand this is? Because price-wise, that's not bad. Oh, that's what that is. So the not-so-classic kit is a lip kit. So you get a lip gloss, a lipstick, and a lip liner. And I believe that one is $19. I mean, the price is pricing. Okay. But again, this looks like a compilation of a bunch of different brands pulled together. Um, looking at my time. So Pat McGrath is giving us a single <laughs> eyeshadow and a cream pot thing. Why? Why? Who asked for this? It looked like they find this in the warehouse in the back of who knows where and was like, oh gosh, y'all, look, we still have a bunch of these single shadows that we put on the website. That is exactly what it feels like to me because this is the most random release of all. Now, it is the shade Blitz Sapphire, which is a beautiful blue shade, very vibrant, and then you get this side, the Cyberelectric Eye Gloss. I actually have two eye glosses from Pat McGrath. One of them burnt me, and I'm I'm not interested in any Patricia's eye glosses. And I'm not paying for one single eyeshadow from Pat McGrath. No, ma'am. And if you have, I believe, Mothership One, you have that blue, not the exact blue, but you have a really beautiful blue shade in there already. I do wonder, though, if this is a baked shadow. Because we know Pat McGrath is going away from these baked shades, and we are all, like, very sad about that. So I'm curious as to whether or not it is a baked shade, because... Am I going to get it? No. Will it probably end up on sale at TJ Maxx? Yes. <laughs> Maybe then. <laughs> okay, let's do two more and then I'm kind of tired <laughs> of, of everything. Of all of these brands. I'm not doing it anymore because they are working my nerves. Um, oh, well, I guess three more because there are a couple of things. So... I'm going to skip over, you know, some stuff that Jones Road Beauty is doing. Suku has some new releases. I've really been interested in Suku, but honestly, uh, a lot of their stuff is just light. And I'm, I'm going to have to, like, really, really be in a space to hit purchase there. BK Beauty is doing a collab with Nik Nikki LaRose, which I'm assuming is a makeup artist. It's another brush collection. Y'all know how I feel about BK Beauty. They just give me the ick. Just, and I don't know how else to explain it. It's just a very icky brand for me. Um, and I know a lot of people love them and they think that their brushes are great, but I just don't. My spirit is like bothered and <laughs> I listen to my spirit. So if you do want a collection, it's going to be $180. It might be on sale for Black Friday. Who knows? But yeah, that's not a brand that I'm interested in supporting currently. But one brand that I am interested in supporting is Sonia G. So she's coming out with this Fundamental Eye Series. Y'all, this is the most beautiful brush set I have ever laid my eyes on. It is stunning. The wood on this is absolutely gorgeous. And looking at the collection, every single eye brush is a, is a shape that I would use. And I do want this. I do believe it's going to be like $240 or $52. So she's not cheap. So, I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up at launch, but this is going to be permanent in her line. So, I might have to wait for, you know, I don't know, <laughs> for 2024 to roll around for me to pick this up. It's beautiful, though, and I do genuinely want it. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, Tom Ford has this... I don't even know what this is. It's their Valentine's Day collection. Oh, so this is a sneak peek. So this is coming lately. So I'm not going to dive too deep into it, but I will say this also looks very elementary and very cheap with them hearts. So they have embossing in the eyeshadow quad as well as in the blush that's coming out with it. And it's a hot embossing and it just looks so cheap, so tacky. I'm like, oh, no, ma'am. Don't want it. But that's going to be coming in... Uh, I'm assuming a couple months for Valentine's Day because that's real, real, real early. And I'm going to end on Davina Cosmetics because they are uh, doing their first ever eyeshadow palette. Um, they did release this on their YouTube channel and it's not for me. I was like, okay. And I, I was caught up in the hype of, ooh, they've never done an eyeshadow palette before, but like, it's... A purple eyeshadow palette. I don't love the packaging. I don't. I just know. <laughs> I was like, okay. It's called Fantasia. No. It's going to be a no for me. But let me know what you guys think. 
Um, what is how much is this gonna cost? And I don't even know if this is included in the sale. I don't know, y'all, but that's it. Let me scooch over into the middle. <sighs> so, lots going on in these makeup streets. I will say that I am extremely overwhelmed, per huge as I was last week. There's just too much. There are too many releases. <sighs> Everything is severely overpriced at this point, and I just... It's making it no longer fun. I, I'm not having a good time. <laughs> and it's not because of you guys. It's not because anything. It's just... Brands are making makeup not fun anymore. Part of it being because everybody keeps releasing products. Like, there's no reason brands should be releasing at this cadence. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's just too many releases. And it feels like price gouging. And this is in my very, very humble opinion. I, again, don't know the cost that goes into making these products. So I'm just speaking from my like feelings at this point but it feels like price gouging and it feels like there's too many releases and I'm just I'm just tired and this is no longer fun and my thing is I'm the type of person that when I am overwhelmed with like too many choices like you can buy this and this and this and this and this I'm just like well I'm going to buy nothing <laughs> and that's kind of where I'm at where I'm like I don't really want anything because I'm overwhelmed so we will really see how this goes. I do have a running Black Friday list that I'm going to go through and actually like start paring down because it's going to be a lot shorter than I think it was originally. And that's partly because I'm overwhelmed. I'm not having fun. It's not a good time. <laughs> and I'm just trying to get back to fun, which means me taking a step back from all of these releases that are just overwhelming and kind of confusing with all these pastels and... <sighs> Just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments because I'm trying to reconcile my feelings with everything that's going on right now. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, I'd absolutely love if you would hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know, of course, how you feel. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Join the fam. So much great content coming for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much more than you know. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!